Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range. Just a little video at the end of uh, some filming here in the Ruag Museum uh, where we've got all three of the ground roll machine guns from uh, Switzerland in World War II and I thought I'd just quickly show them off. So start with this one here. The Swiss bought some uh, tanks from France uh, just before the start of the war and uh, they came with machine guns, Chateau de tank machine guns, typical Chateau de uh, side mounted drum magazine and very few of these just on the tanks and uh, yeah sometimes uh, you get the whole package. They were, were in 7.5 uh, by 55 GP11 caliber, they weren't in 7.5 French but it's just a, a quick ream of the chamber. Here we have with all the bells and whistles an LMG25 with its spare barrel, with its anti-aircraft sights and with its optical sight. I don't think I've seen a set this complete on its tripod. Um, it is a light machine gun but they did also use it quite a lot on the tripod. Having shot them they're not the most stable design and uh, being designed by Fura they have a toggle and I'm not, uh, not going to play with it right now. Not my place to play with it. And the last one here is an MG11, which is the Swiss version of the Maximum MG08. Again, 7.5 by 55 on a heavy tripod with all its bells and whistles and its optical sight. And I have shot one of these off a tripod and it is incredibly stable and I can uh, see why the belt-fed machine guns in World War I were quite so incredibly terrifying. They, uh, the sights just sit there and it just chugs away. So there you go, short but hopefully sweet. Uh, thanks very much to the uh, Ruag Museum for letting me in here to film and thank you to all our patrons who support us and if you haven't become a patron yet please consider doing so, it really helps to uh, get me out of the house and down places like this to uh, film some really interesting guns. So see you again sometime. Bye.